But one uh, particularly dramatic uh, example of the influence of human activity on earthquake gr ground shaking was during the 2018 earthquake in Palu, Sulawesi, in Indonesia. In this case, um, there, were, there was a settlement built on, on relatively naturally occurring um, granular sediments in the Palu Valley. Uh, but in the past, this had not been such a, such a danger. That will enhance the shaking, but, but it was not normally associated with the phenomenon we call liquefaction, where the soil, once it's shaken up, really loose granular soil, if it's shaken up, it can actually turn to liquid if there is water present, if the water table is high and those sediments are saturated with fluid. And that didn't happen until they dug a, they made a big irrigation channel going up the Palu Valley. And this irrigation channel, it of course was used for irrigation, so there was water poured on crops all in the valley, and it also leaked a lot of water. It wasn't a sealed channel. So it leaked a lot of water out of the channel. And so this really raised the water table in these granular sediments and made it a, a place that wasn't prone to liquefaction in the past, made it very prone to liquefaction now. And so what we found was that there was a the liquefaction did occur and, and there were these huge, um, very low angle, like two degree slope. Uh, landslides. So normally landslides occur on relatively steep slopes. These were very shallow slopes, but still because the soil liquefied, there was basically no resistance to it flowing, the material flowing down these very shallow slopes. So you got these huge uh, uh, slopes, that, that uh, these very shallow slopes in which landslides occurred over very large displacements. The material just flowed over one and two kilometers distance and in the process buried many people, it destroyed many homes and buried many people.